Do you want to set up Google Tag Manager with Cadence? In this video, I'm going to show you how. So here we have a website, Parks Open, and this website is built with the Cadence Pro theme. So the first thing I need to do is go into Cadence Pro and make sure that header and footer scripts is enabled. This allows you to put the Tag Manager script in the header and footer, and that's where we're going to put Google Tag Manager. I already have an analytics account set up, so that's all great. I don't need to do anything more with analytics, which I'm going to put inside Tag Manager. So I go to tagmanager.google.com and click Create Account. Inside here, we add the name of our site under the account name, and then select the correct country. Share data anonymously with Google and others is off. And then we create what we call a container name, and that should really be your domain name. So I'm going to copy that from the website URL, paste it in, and then I just delete that HTTPS stuff out. I click on web because we're using web Google Tag Manager and click create. At that point, all the terms and conditions come up. Select that you accept the data processing and click yes. This will then build the Tag Manager container. This container is used for all our different scripts and I end up with this install tag manager element. So the first thing I need to do is copy the head element. Then I go back to my WordPress administrator page, click on customize, and this will open the customizer where I can deal with my header and footer scripts. Now that that's open, we click on the custom scripts element and here we can see the old Google Tag Manager that I had and the ability to add in this new tag. So I'm gonna select everything there and delete it and paste in my new Tag Manager script. So there's the Tag Manager script that goes in the header. This was the first piece of script here. Secondly, is paste the code after the body tag. So I copy that there, go back here, right after the body tag, there's my other tag element, and then I click publish. That's now published, so I close the customizer. And from there, I need to click on WP Engine in my case to clear cache. You want to make sure that you've cleared caching on your server before you go about testing with the next step in Tag Manager. Caches are cleared. Go back to my dashboard now. And now I'm in Google Tag Manager again and then we're going to do a test on the site. So I copy my URL again, paste the test your website and click test. This test is now looking at that website to make sure that Tag Manager is there and I've got the green tick, so I'm okay to press okay. Now I need to add a new tag because we wanna make sure that we add our Google Analytics. So I'm just gonna say GA there, tag configuration. Google Analytics, so we're going to say GA4, sorry, Google Tag, and then we've got to put our tag ID in there, so I go back to Analytics, onto my admin, and then I go into my data streams, select web, and then we open up the data stream. Here you can see the measurement ID. I copy that and paste it into my tag ID. Now you may need other configuration settings here, but I'll leave that to a more in-depth setup for Google Tag Manager. If I go and click save now, you'll say that I need to add a trigger. So let's go ahead, add that trigger. We're just gonna do all pages at this point and click save. That has now added the Google Analytics configuration. I now have to press submit and that will submit a version of my Google Tag Manager. So I just say added GA like that. Good, and click publish and the sing like no one's listening comes up. And there we go, that has now published. So now we just have to check that everything's working. So I go to my analytics, open up real time view, click on the schedule page and there we go. We're now looking there and let's see if that comes up. Yep, that's been picked up. So we can see that the Google Tag Manager is working as expected. For more tips like this, why don't you give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything else you wanna know, make sure you leave a comment below 
on this video. Let me know what you want to know and I'll make a video about it and I'll see you in the next video.